Hello everybody, today I want to make a video about reflected cross-site scripting. Now reflected cross-site scripting is when you send something, a URL, to a specific person and that person opens the URL and some script, some JavaScript executes. Now this can happen because what you put in the parameter and the request parameter gets reflected back into the DOM of the web page. As you can see here, I have requested an image with a source equaling x and I told it that when I uh, encounter an error I have to uh, do the JavaScript function confirm. Now I was able to do this by just typing anything in here and when I type it in here I can see that it gets reflected back in here. So the next thing you try is you try if you can reflect an image back. That's what I always do. And when the image gives an error that's pretty good. Now what I want to do Next is try if I can see this as well. So I'm going to do search for this, and this does not trigger a cross-site scripting attack. There are many different reasons for it, but I think for this reason specifically, script is filtered on this web page. So what I'm just going to do is give it this specific uh, search query, and when I do that, you can see that my cross-site scripting gets executed. So that's reflected cross-site scripting. That's seriously all there is to it. If you guys like this video, uh, please like it, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.